Have you been keeping up with the latest news on UFO sightings? There have been reports of UFOs being shot down in both the United States and Canada, and we can no longer deny that something strange is going on. Although we still have no information on what these objects could be, we do know some details about the recent sightings. Join us as we count down the top 10 recent UFO sightings that have left us with more questions than answers. At number 5 on our list is the UFO sighting over Lake Huron that occurred on February 12th. And more now on efforts to shoot down flying objects over the U.S. and Canada in recent days. Yeah, we've learned the first... U.S. officials have confirmed that the Air Force and the National Guard took down the unidentified flying object, which was spotted over the lake that shares its shoreline with the U.S. state of Michigan and the Canadian province of Ontario. Representative Alyssa Slotkin, a Michigan Democrat, confirmed the incident on Twitter and praised those involved with the mission. The Department of Defense had been tracking the object for some time before deciding to take action to remove it from the airspace. The object's exact nature and origin remain a mystery, and rumors abound. It has been described as having an octagonal structure. Recovery efforts to collect debris from the downed object are underway, but no official reports on its origin or purpose have been released as of now. And truthfully, considering how Roswell has aged, I doubt we'll ever know. At number four on our list is the Yukon UFO incident that occurred on February 11th. A U.S. fighter jet shot down an unidentified flying object that was in the skies above the Canadian territory of Yukon just a day before the Lake Huron UFO sighting. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau confirmed on Twitter that he had ordered the, quote, takedown of the object that violated Canadian airspace. Both Canadian and U.S. aircraft were involved in that operation, and the Air Force successfully took down the object. Canadian forces are now working to recover and analyze the wreckage to determine its origin. Aircraft assigned to NORAD successfully took down this high-altitude airborne object at approximately 3.41 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This incident has heightened concerns among both Canadians and Americans, as it is just one of many recent UFO sightings that have been taken out of airspace. In the past, there have been instances where governments have denied the existence of UFOs or concealed information related to them. The North American Aerospace Defense Command, or NORAD, officially detected the object flying at a high altitude over Alaska on Friday evening before it crossed into Canadian airspace. The U.S. military's Pentagon Press Secretary, Brigadier General Pat Ryder, explained that a U.S. F-22 fighter jet shot down the object in Canadian territory using an AIM-9X missile following close coordination between U.S. and Canadian authorities. That is a big kill. The balloon is completely destroyed. At number three on our list, we have the Alaska UFO, which was shot down by an F-22 U.S. fighter jet on February 10th just one day before the Yukon UFO incident. The object was flying over the waters near Alaska at an altitude of 40,000 feet and was considered a, quote, reasonable threat to aviation, which is why the order was given to take it down. Interestingly, the object was first detected the day before, and a flyby took place on Thursday before the second flyby and the takedown on Friday. However, what makes this incident particularly suspicious is that the pilots who were sent up to investigate and take down the UFO all gave differing reports of what they saw. Some pilots claimed that the UFO interfered with their sensors, while others said they couldn't see any kind of propulsion the system on the object. Other pilots saying that when they looked at the object, they could identify no identifiable, uh, identifiable propulsion system, and they did not know how it was actually staying in the air, cruising at that altitude of about 40,000 feet. This raises the question of how it could have been casually cruising at 40,000 feet in the air. Over the weekend, the U.S. Northern Command stated that they had no new information about the object's capabilities, purpose, or origin, and the recovery efforts were being slowed down by the icy conditions in the area. John Kirby, the National Security Council Coordinator for Strategic Communications, said of the object, 
We're calling this an object because that's the best description we have right now. He added, we don't know who owns it, whether it's state-owned, corporate-owned, or privately owned, we just don't know. People are especially concerned about this particular UFO because of the critical military sites in Alaska and its proximity to neighboring countries. It's not the first time that the government has failed to provide answers or explanations for incidents like this, fueling rumors and speculation about what's really going on behind the scenes. Taking the number two spot on our list, we have the mysterious balloon incident that occurred a few weeks ago. Reports surfaced on February 4th that officials were monitoring an unidentified object that had entered American airspace above Alaska on January 28th. The object was tracked as it drifted across the country from Idaho in the northwest to the Carolinas in the southeast. Eventually, the decision was made to take the object down, and it was successfully shot down by authorities. Presented a reasonable threat to civilian aircraft, uh, and an American F-22 successfully shot down the object. As it turns out, the object was actually a massive balloon, roughly the size of three buses. It was flying at an altitude of 60,000 to 65,000 feet, which is significantly higher than commercial aircraft fly. After investigating the origins of the balloon, it was found to have come from China, However, there are conflicting accounts of what the balloon's purpose was. Chinese officials claim it was a civilian aircraft that had accidentally strayed into American airspace, but some senior American officials suspect that the balloon was being used for surveillance over American <laughs> military bases in Guam and Hawaii. The theory is that the balloon was carried off course by strong winds and eventually ended up in American airspace where it was shot down. Although it's still not clear what the balloon was intended for, the fact that it was identified as a balloon is a relief for many people. The recent spate of mysterious UFO sightings has left many on edge. In our number one spot today, we have some intriguing news about a classified report. Since August of 2022, the Director of National Intelligence presented a report to Congress which revealed that a total of 510 unidentified aerial phenomena had been observed in protected airspace or near sensitive facilities. According to the report, 26 of these phenomena were described as drones. 163 were labeled as balloons or balloon-like entities, and six were unaccounted for, some of which displayed unusual flight characteristics or performance capabilities. Furthermore, it is important to note that the majority of these sightings are reported by Navy and Air Force pilots. The declassified summary of the report only contains 12 pages, leaving the public with many questions and a strong desire to learn more. It remains to be seen whether we will ever find out what the rest of the report contains or what will happen with further investigation into the unaccounted sightings. Nonetheless, hopefully, the answers to these mysteries will arise one day. While we may not have all the answers when it comes to UFO sightings and extraterrestrial life, it's clear that there are many mysterious events happening in our skies. As always, we encourage our viewers to stay curious and open-minded and to keep seeking out the truth behind these sightings. Till next time.